The leader of the opposition, Philip J. Pierre, is recommending that government moves away from the NEMAC model and establish a lean team to deal with the COVID-19 crisis. Pierre says given the daunting health and economic challenges that lie ahead, efficiency and sound management are vital. We must not continue to host NEMAC meetings with almost 100 persons in a room and who happen to be the key decision makers in St. Lucia. More so, this group meets every week and is the major entity leading the fights. In any event, this is against the cause for responsible social distancing. We repeat our call for a lean, mean, rapid response task force, which can meet regularly and at short notice to lead the national fight against the virus. The composition of such a task force could be limited to heads of key agencies along with representatives of the government and opposition. We should not wait for the first evidence of in-country transmission of the virus to institute aggressive social distancing measures. By then, it may have spread unnecessarily and uncontrollably. Pierre, who pledges the opposition's support in fighting the crisis, calls on the government to roll out the support packages for those impacted. He says persons should be given a sense of security that their utility services will not be disconnected during these trying times. We must announce a policy statement on the payment of utility bills now. Low-income workers must, must be given the comfort that their water electricity, internet, and phone will not be disconnected during this emergency period. We must announce plans for workers at the civil service to allow these persons who can work from home to do so. This must also take into account parents who will need to be at home to care for their children as they are now required to be home also. We must consider a deferment of installments on income tax due by large and small businesses for this year. This will give them much needed cash flow to help pay their workers who may not be at work. He further calls on the government to be engaged and proactive on the matter of assistance to those affected. We need to be more consistent and clear in our messaging. We must announce a preliminary package of benefits to workers who will be displaced by the economic fallout. Already, hotels are closing and small businesses are feeling the pressure. The government must not allow individual hotels and businesses alone to determine how workers will be compensated. It has to be a national consensus. As a minimum and as a matter of urgency, the Prime Minister must make some policy statements on mortgage deferrals, higher salary sick pay, pay for workers laid off, and help for self-employed persons, example, taxi drivers, vendors, and people who work in the tourism industry. The opposition leader's recommendations are not limited to government. He called on the residents to listen and adhere to advisories from official sources. This is an unprecedented crisis, but the opposition leader believes that with sound leadership, the disruption to lives and livelihoods could be minimized. Stanley Lucien for the HGS News Force.